Hey, if you've been thinking about moving to Tampa, you're going to want to stick around and watch this video. We're going to show you one of Tampa's new construction communities in the heart of it, and we're getting after it right now. If this is your first time on the channel, make sure you like, subscribe, and tap that bell for notifications so you can get the market updates all around the Tampa Bay area. My name is Debbie Diaz, and this is Andres Diaz with the Diaz Group at EXP Realty. We get calls, texts, emails every day from people just like you, and we absolutely love it. Whether you're looking to move in nine days or 90 days, give us a call, shoot us a text, or send us an email so we can help you make that smooth move to Tampa, Florida. So here we are in the heart of Tampa, Seminole Heights. Yep. Debbie Stomping Grounds. If you're looking for new construction in Tampa. It's there, hard to find. Yeah, there's not a whole lot. So we're really excited to present to you one of David Weekly's central living communities behind us of townhomes in the center of Tampa. Yep, and it is called Apex, located just on Nebraska, about a half a mile from Sly Avenue. So proximity is great to the interstate in less than one mile. You could be on to 275 heading north or south. That'll get you Tampa's downtown in 10 minutes. And if you need to get to the airport at this time on a Saturday, it's only 17 minutes. So you are close in proximity to everything. And if you wanted to take the kiddos to Lori Park Zoo, you are less than five minutes away from that. It's the heart of Tampa. It, I mean, it has everything Tampa has to offer and easy access to the interstate. So you can get anywhere from here. If you're a foodie, you are gonna yes. love the Seminole Heights area. We started our video right in front of Gang Chu. Right across the street is chicken and waffles. For those of you that visit the Seminole Heights area, the Sea House. The Sea House is one of our favorite spots. You've got trophy fish, Rooster Till, there's Chop Chop House. I mean, we could go on with the number of breweries and little bars and restaurants in the Seminole Heights area. It's definitely a gentrified area. This used to be a very like blue collar type area, what have you. And in recent years, it is up and the, coming. these bungalows are getting bought out, getting torn down and a million dollar home. Right. So um, that that's kind of the area that we're in. A lot of change going on and getting pretty expensive to live here, right. to be quite honest. So right behind us are going to be three-story townhomes by David Weekly. They are all gonna be three-bedroom townhomes with three full baths built on three levels. They offer two-car garages, which is something that is pretty rare in a townhome. So lots of good stuff that we're gonna share in just a minute. So let's go take a look. There's two different models. They're very, very similar. One's just an end unit and one's an interior unit. Karsten one and Karsten two. Yeah. So they're they're both three bedrooms Yep. and they're both three stories. Let's go check them out. All right, let's go. So we're gonna go check out the models that they have here at Apex. You'll notice again, the two car garages. So super convenient, extra storage if you need it. There's only gonna be 30 townhomes in total in this entire complex and you're not gonna get the amenities that you would normally get in those master plan communities because again, Tampa is built out and there's just not the space to do that here. This townhome will have a green space with a little dog park. You're gonna have your mailbox kiosk right here in the center, but it's gonna be ideal for those people wanting to work or get to downtown relatively quick if you want to hang out at Hyde Park. Again, all the restaurants here in the Seminole Heights area, it's going to be a prime location. So we're going to check out the model home and see what it has to offer. Come on in to the Karsten 2. So down here on the first level, they've conveniently put one bedroom down. So if you did have like an elderly guest or something, they don't have to trip up the stairs. This right now is their home office with double doors but this would have just a single door for a bedroom. Located down here in this single bedroom is a walk-in shower, full bath. So again, no need to have to go upstairs. And it does offer closet space in here, which is actually pretty deep. So 
you could do some shelving in there for your closet space. Just outside of this bedroom, you will find the entrance to your two-car garage. Lots of space. You can fit two cars in here or storage if you need to. Now let's head upstairs and check out the rest of the townhome. So these central living townhomes give you kind of that urban feel. I like that they've done a metal railing all the way up, so it kind of gives you that industrial look. Here on this level, we are gonna have a half bath, and I love how David Weekly does some funky tile just to change things up. And now you will be walking into a very, very nicely sized kitchen and just an open space. This is going to be your main center of the home. So we've got the dining room set up over in this corner. A nicely sized, generous pantry. I love how they've done wooden shelving on three sides. And then you do get some more storage right here next to your washing machine also done in the wooden shelves. Just off of your dining room section, you have room for a coffee bar, wine bar, liquor cabinet, however you wanna use this, super versatile. Enormous quartz center island. Huge farm style sink, stainless steel. And the amazing thing that everybody's looking for, this is a gas community, so we do have gas cooktop in here, again, the stainless steel appliances, and now you are in your living area. David Weekly's tastefully done a huge picture window in all of their units, so the amount of natural light that comes through is stunning. So let's go upstairs and check out the bedroom. On the third level, you're gonna have two more rooms. You're gonna have another secondary room and the primary suite right in the middle of the hallway separating both you are going to find your washer and dryer hookups again we're on the le third level where most of the bedrooms are this is going to be bedroom number two nicely sized and again private bathroom located right here in the room this one has a shower tub combo so if you did have little ones perfect little soaking tub for playing with bubbles and then directly across the hall, we are gonna find the primary suite. Now this conveniently has a door that makes it super private because we are gonna have the primary ensuite, which is gonna have a gorgeous walk-in shower, dual vanity sinks, you've got the white shaker cabinets, and then a generously sized walk-in closet, definitely a good size for a townhome. Shelving on this side, this side, and across wall number three. Then we are gonna come across the hall and you'll have the entrance to your master bedroom. You can see that they've done some tray ceilings in here so that gives it a little more height. And they've got a king size bed in here with some nightstands on both sides we've got a dresser beautiful three windows again lots of natural light room for putting a chase they've done a couple couches they've got a little bench right here and still a ton of room hello and welcome home we are in the same model the Carson 2 but i just wanted to show you a few differences since we were in the model home and this is a true unit that is available now Right up front, there is gonna be a coat closet and you see how small it is? Because we don't need coats in Florida. <laughs> that could be for your vacuum cleaner, broom and stuff like this. Um, this is gonna be the true opening on that bedroom downstairs. All of their doors, David Weekly does eight foot doors in here. So it'll be a single door and it's gonna be the same setup. Again, no furniture in here. It doesn't look like an office but you are gonna have that walk-in shower, nice tile on the floor, quartz on the countertops, and the shaker cabinets. And this is the closet without the printer. So you can see how nice and deep that is. 
We're also going to head upstairs and show you a little bit of the different flavors in their kitchen. So here on the second level, we are going to have that same half bath right at the top of the stairs. Again, loving the funky tile, which is perfect for this type of urban feel. This unit, which is on the market, is flipped from the one that we just came out of. So we're going to have the dining section right over here. We're going to have this um, large pantry on this side. Again, you'll see that they have the wooden shelving that's gonna be in all their units. The smaller pantry on this side, same thing with the wooden cabinets, the coffee bar, beautiful fixtures that they've picked out for these units, gas cooktop. This one happens to have a composite gray sink. And for those of you that love composite sinks because they last forever, they are gonna have them in these units. Living room, large picture window. This one comes with the blinds, so no need to add those. But again, just a lot of natural sunlight. I like the lighter floors. We still have the metal railing going up the stairs to give it kind of that industrial feel, but a perfect place to call home. So again, David Weekly is gonna have 30 units in this community. HOA is gonna run $450 a month. That's gonna cover your water, your sewer, and your trash. Um, it's gonna have two access points. You can come in off of Nebraska, and then you'll have a, a rear exit to one of the side streets. It's a one-way, so it's only gonna be for guests. If you do have any questions on this unit or any of the homes in Apex, please reach out to us so we can help you make that move to Tampa, Florida.